Are you looking to move beyond the default sidebar settings and actually customize them for maximum productivity? Well, let's show you how in this video. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. The sidebar is one of the first places you go to to get information about your contact when you're in the HubSpot CRM. But it can be difficult if the information you're looking for isn't easily arranged or really intuitive from a user perspective. So customizing that with the information you need to see first, figuring out what might need to be layered into different folders, all of that's gonna be essential for maximum productivity. So let's dive in and show you how to do that. So Michael Scott's record here, we've got on the right hand, or the, excuse me, the left hand side, we've got this about this contact. If I toggle this, I can actually collapse and expand, but this is basically one giant information dump at the moment. So if I'm looking for information, I have to scroll down and see if I can find it. If I still can't find it, I have to click view all properties and go searching for it. How about we customize this so it's best use for me? So in this particular use case, where I am in HubSpot will customize this view just for me, the user. It's not gonna affect any of my other team members, it's just for me. So if I want to actually see if this person has been approved for samples, I'm gonna click add to my view, and then I'm going to go back, and just like it showed me here, it's actually going to add it into my view, but it actually sticks it at the bottom because it was the last piece of information I just added. So again, if I wanna customize this for just me, I can choose to rearrange those here on the left-hand side and then move it to where is most convenient for me, the user. So that's just me. If from an organizational perspective, let's say that I've heard from enough team members or I've talked to my team and determined these are the sections we need to have. Tip here, I would recommend doing this. These are the sections that we need to have and here's the information should be arranged and that gets everybody about 90% of the way there. How to do that is actually going to be go to property settings over in here. Um, you're gonna go to the objects and then contacts and then we've got this choose properties for default sidebar. So once I do this, you'll see that these are the default, regardless of what I just showed you in my portal, these are the default for the organization. So I'm gonna click on edits. And again, you'll notice that we have 12 of 300 properties here. We've got one section for social media and then one what is called conditional section, which I'll talk about here in a second. So if you happen to be pro level or higher on your sales uh, subscription, you're going to be able to add sections. So adding sections makes it possible for you to build what I would call, like think of these as folders folders of drop downs of information. So you kind of know where to go, what area to go to, to manage these hundreds of property information. So let's say I've got social media here. And if you look under social media, I've actually got a lot more. These are just defaults, things that I can add in here. Let's say social media, I wanted to actually record, um, you know, a link to their uh, last tweet. I don't know why you do that, but if you did and that was your level or that was your field, you would add that in here. Something else you might think about is, let's say I wanted to have um, a section where I just have conversion information. So if I have conversion information, that's my section. And then I can actually choose to add all these conversion informations in here. I might just add the form submitted conversion first and last, and we're gonna call it a day. So that's how that, that works. If I'm just in the free version, I don't have pro, and I just wanna customize this about this contact, this is going to customize the sidebar for everybody in their organization, and then they can override it if they want to in what I just showed you previously. But again, let's assume if I'm at a free level or a starter level, I at least wanna give you some productivity out of the gate for the information that you most likely need to see for your contacts. And again, I can customize that here. I can choose to look for things that I might be missing. Looks like we're missing street address. So if I add that, Again, put that in the way that it would most make sense for your sales team and ask them, hey guys, do you ever go looking for information or what things do you need to see first? Let's customize that sidebar and then we're gonna go ahead and click save. So that's how that works. Now, if you wanted to create what's called a conditional section, this is only for enterprise. If you happen to find this helpful, you'll notice that here we've got customer information. So customer information only shows up as a section when the lifecycle stage happens to be customer. So to add that, you would actually just, again, when you're going to add a section, you would say make this section um, conditional and then tell HubSpot when that applies. So again, that information that's in the system actually still is there, but the section only appears in the sidebar when in fact we have that lifecycle stage set as customer. So very helpful. Now, the other thing to think about here, I'm gonna go ahead and click back on this, um, is this is the thing for a default sidebar. If you happen to be an enterprise user, you can actually customize a sidebar just for a specific user type. 
So we have a different video about setting up user types, but if you did set up a, a user type, you can actually say, I want the contact view to look like this for sales team members. I want the contact view to look like this for marketing team members. So this is going to be, you can customize any of the different types of views, whether it's a company view, deal view, any of that based on the types, um, again, in your user setup. So that makes it really easy. That's how to customize a sidebar. Let me know if you have any questions about that. Drop a comment on the video. For more tips, tricks, and how-tos, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you next week.